Welcome, I hope that you are doing well. By the end of this video, you will be able to install a plugin that you can use in the music software MuseScore. Let's get started. So uh, when you are using MuseScore, there may be times that you would like to add uh, functionality to the software. And some of these uh, plugins that you can install uh, will make things easier for you as you are using the software. So uh, in order to install a plugin, the first thing you'll want to do is you'll want to go to musescore.org. And then once you're there, um, you can uh, go to download and then plugins. And uh, I will put a link to this page in uh, the description below. So you are now at the page where you can download the plugin that you would like. And again, when you're here, you can see they have different categories of plugins uh, that you, that will um, you know add to the functions that you can use in MuseScore. And then they also have um, this API compatibility and that's just uh, asking you what uh, version of MuseScore you're using. If you're using the newest version uh, 3.6 uh, that was just released in January uh, then um, you want to have that uh, with the 3.x. So um, here we go we can look uh, I'm gonna find a plugin that we can install together. Uh, the first the one that I thought would be good to show is a trumpet fingering um, Plugin. So basically, when you click on the plugin name, it will take you to a, a page where you can see what the plugin does. And you can see this one writes the fingering positions for a B flat trumpet under each note and the name of the note. And so uh, this will save you time if you uh, want to, you know, maybe if you've got a beginning uh, trumpet player uh, that needs to have the fingerings for every note. So uh, you can see we've got the download uh, buttons here. And again, so for MuseScore uh, version 3 and up, I will click this button. And now it's going to download. And it's going to download as a zip file. So uh, once it's done downloading, you'll want to uh, show in the folder that uh, you uh, downloaded it. And so this went to my downloads folder. And again, it's a zip file. So the next thing I need to do is I need to unzip that or extract it. So I'm going to right click and then I'm going to say extract all. And it's going to ask me where I would like to uh, put the extracted files. I'm going to keep it in the same one. And so now it has this open to uh, the extracted files. And uh, if I go back to downloads, you can see there's um, the uh, file folder. So I can click on that and then click again. And now you can see it's got this QML file. And basically, that's the file you're going to want to put into your Muse score um to so that it works so uh, you want to open up another file folder and uh, let's go to the documents so you want to uh, by default your uh, muse score plugins will be found in your documents folder um, unless you uh, had muse score put them somewhere else so again you can see i'm in my documents folder i go to muse score 3 and then uh, look for plugins and you can see my plugins folder is empty so I don't have any plugins installed currently so uh, basically what you want to do is you want to take the uh, QML file that you downloaded and extracted and then uh, drag that into the MuseScore plugins uh, folder so now I uh, went ahead and put that in the MuseScore 3 plugins folder so now I can use once you've done that now you can use it within the software so I've got MuseScore open here and so to in order to use the plugin that I just downloaded, I'm going to go to plugins and then plugin manager. And then once I'm there, you can see I've got uh, different um, uh, plugins that uh, were you know pre-installed with the software, but you can find the one that you were you just uh, installed. So mine was called trumpet fingering. And then I'm just going to highlight that one and then press OK. So this plugin uh, will only work with a B flat trumpet. So I'm going to want to create a new file and I'm just going to go ahead and skip through this and I'm going to make this for a make this sheet music for a B flat trumpet so I can show you how this plugin works. And once I've got the score finished for the B flat trumpet, now I'm going to add a couple notes and I will show you how to use the plugin. Okay. So we've got the notes written there and in order to use the plugin, I'll go up to plugins. And remember, I went to Plugin Manager. I made sure it was highlighted. I pressed OK. And then uh, whenever I click on plugins again, you can see trumpet figuring shows up there. I'm going to click that. 
So once you click that, that's going to activate the plugin. And now you can see it added the fingerings. Now this looks a little funny because I my spacing is a little off. So I'm going to go to breaks and spacers and just make that a little wider. So now you can see it added the fingering. So for a D on a B flat trumpet, the fingering is one and three. E is one and two and so forth. So um, it added the note name and the um, fingering uh, to the notes for the B flat trumpet. So you can see how powerful plugins can be uh, for the music that you're creating in MuseScore. Uh, for instance, you know this this one plugin, um, you know it works with the trumpet. And again, if you go back to the website that we were uh, looking at before, um, that showed all the plugins, you can see um, they have um, quite a few of plugins available. And again, these are developed um, by uh, people who use uh, MuseScore and maybe find something that uh, is not included in the software. And since this is an open source uh, software, um, they create um, you know the plugins and then they upload them here to MuseScore's website um, so that you and I can use them um, in the music we're creating. You now know how to install a plugin in, for the music that you're creating in MuseScore 3. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comments section below. I do my best to answer those. Uh, if you, I have other MuseScore 3 tutorials available, I'll put links to those around this video. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.